you need to understand that the, your mains when it reaches your knee high levels uh, just to know that uh, uh, the top dressing is required the issues of mixing the D and urea and you plant without the any fertilizer and you apply these two fertilizers when the maize is at tussling stage it's not a good idea because you're going to spoil the crop and it's just a wastage because some of the nutritional values at that point they will not have any impact to your crop hence you need to make sure that you apply these um, apply these fertilizers on time. Your top dressing obviously comes in um, in a such a way that uh, there, there are factors. Actually, there's a problem, a huge problem in nitrogen content fertilizers. There are factors which contribute into what we call losses. Um, the temperature is number one. Uh, you, 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 if, if you're going to expose your urea um, on a sun or in a heat way, you are going to experience that um, volatilization. Uh, it, it doesn't matter whether it's in the warehouse or you're putting it in a room where um, it hits, it's hammering too much or just after the applying of urea uh, on top of the soil and if it's heating too much you're going to experience what we call volatilization. The expecting, I mean the, the escape of, of nitrogen into the air but also um, other factors uh, such as the pH of the soil. The pH also determines um, the capacity of the crop picking up nutritional values from the soil. So if your pH is not within the limit, you're going to have such kind of challenges. But also um, the water also. Uh, if your field is not well stable and you find that at the time of applying the fertilizer, you have a heavy downpour, your fertilizer, especially the, the nitrogen content fertilizers, will not stay longer goes similarly to the to the sandy soils. So sandy soils they've got what we call small large surface area because they don't hold the nutritional values for a longer period of time. So the issues of leaching it's quite high. Obviously a number of decades, 50 years down the line, we haven't seen any improvement. It's the same urea and we haven't seen any innovations. So what we've done as ETG Input Zambia Limited is to bring in what we call a Kinoplus uh, uh, urea. So this Kinoplus urea, it's a blue coated urea with what we call agro -ten. This agro -ten, it's um, uh, a nitrogen inhibitor. So it has got what we call an enzyme which makes the urea to stay longer in the, in the soil. Hence, the nitrification process, within the nitrification process, there's actually gas which is produced. So that's the culprit now, the ammonia gas. So we don't need the ammonia gas. That's the reason why we have coated with agro -ten. So for farmers who are willing uh, to get these products, but obviously you can get this product at any, um, any ETG outlet. But I want to explain that if you're going to get the normal standard white urea, you have challenges. It's either your urea is going to be washed away or it's going to be leached out because of a heavy downpour or you're going to have the volatilization because of the heat, the temperatures, as well as the wind sometimes does contribute. So what we are saying is that the, the Kinoplus, this is a, a coated product with um, the Agroten. So Agroten will make sure that at the time of the gas which is produced, we convey much of the gas into ammonia, ammonium which is now translated into nitrates. So the, the crop actually um, gets the, the nitrates from the, the urea which we put in the ground. But obviously someone can ask, can I use the ammonium nitrate? You are good to go. But obviously the levels of the nitrogen which is required, they recommended obviously at the moment it's 46 percent nitrogen so this kind of plus is the the same urea the 46 percent nitrogen but what we've done is just to give it more power in such a way that um, uh, once you introduce it on the ground you don't have all those variation in terms of the numbers mind you you are able to lose out up to 25 percent 25 to 35 percent of the nitrogen out of the 100 percent Actually, when you apply the 100%, sometimes you can even obtain only 50%. The other 50% goes away in the soil or in the air. But this, uh, obviously, out of um, 
not knowing what is right. This is why as ETG Inputs Zambia Limited, we are here. We share this free information to our farmers. For those who are able to make a decision, I know it's not easy, but it's better to move a step rather than just staying on one position.